Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about CFU, colony forming units. Today we are going to solve this problem and I'm not going to explain what is CFU, which I already explained in my previous video to which I will provide a link in the video description. If you don't know what is colony forming units, please first watch that video. So here is the problem of the day. You conduct a standard plate count where 50 microliters of each dilution is added to each petri plate. The petri plates diluted to 10 power minus 2 is alone and cannot be counted. The 10 power minus 4 is diluted petri plate results in 162 colonies. The dilution of 10 power minus 6 and 10 power minus 8 diluted petri plates both had less than 25 colonies on it, so it is not used for the CFU calculations since it is not within 25 to 150 colonies range. Calculate CFU in cells per milliliter of the original sample based on these results. First of all, I want to bring to your attention that we start our dilutions with 50 microliters, but we need to give an answer cells per milliliter. So take a look, one liter equals to 1000 milliliters and also equals to 1 million microliters. As you see, 1000 milliliters equals to 1 million microliters. That means that 1 microliter is 1000 times smaller than milliliter. So 1 milliliter equals to 1000 microliters. If we need to give an answer in milliliters, but we start with microliters, let's convert milliliters in microliters. So 1000 microliters, which is 1 milliliter, we have to divide by 50 microliters. So this is what we have started. This is what we have to give an answer. Cells per milliliter. So we are going to get here 20. Now take a look. When we took 50 microliters and we got dilution of 10 power minus 4, which means 10,000 times we diluted our original sample, we got on the Petri dish 162 colonies. Because we have to give an answer in milliliters, we have to multiply 162 by 20. If we would took instead of 50 microliters 1 milliliter, this is going to be a number of the colonies. So this is going to be 3,240 colonies if we, instead of 50 microliters, would start with 1 milliliter. Now take a look. When we diluted our sample 10,000 times, so 10 to the power minus 4 is the same as 1 divided by 10,000. So when we diluted our sample 10,000 times, we got this number of colonies. If we would use milliliter instead of 50 microliters, we are going to get this number of the colonies. So what we actually have to do in order to find how many bacteria in one milliliter, we have to multiply 3,240 by 10,000. And we are going to find how many bacteria present in undiluted sample of one milliliter. So this is going to be 3,240 plus four zeros. And in order to give an answer as scientific number, imagine that we have a decimal point here. So we move backwards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So our answer is going to be, so this number is the same as 3.24 times 10 
to the power 7. Don't forget when we give an answer as scientific number, it have to be between 1 and 10. So that's why we move this decimal point 7 places to the left. We do not stop here because this is going to be 32 whole number. So we also can say 32.4 times 10 power 6. This is not going to be a correct. The number have to be between 1 and 10. So 3.24 is a number between 1 and 10. And this is going to be our answer. In undiluted sample of 1 milliliter, we expect this number of cells per milliliter in the original sample. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.